guys you are most welcome and today we are going to talk about pros in the early renesa and uh, let's see the development uh, we can uh, find some early pros before renesa in chaucer's work uh, chaucer has written uh, four stories in prose now we are talking about uh, renesa so uh, in early renesa we find uh, you know most of work was translation and who were those uh, people who were translating educationist reformer and they were we don't find uh, creative writers so one request if you like this series please don't forget to write uh, like the video and after watching this video just give a few seconds and uh, support the channel by sharing the video let's talk about some so basically there were some educationists and some reformers and uh, educationists were reformer too jo educationists the wo reformer bhi the unme se kuch hai jinka naam hai desiderius erasmus he was a dutch scholar and he has uh, written his praise of folly and he was a humanist now you can uh, see the development of uh, language and literature and humanism is coming into existence in poetry and in prose and originally it was written in latin and later it got translated into english it was a kind of satire on vice wickedness folly and corruption so since chaucer is we can uh, see the same things like uh, satires on vice and wickedness we can see even in Chaucer's work. Now, next person is Sir Thomas More, more important than the first one. He is one of the early humanists, as we can see here. The writer, writers or educationists were also humanists that time, and he is celebrated the first prose writer of great literary significance. He has written Utopia in fifteen sixty. and what was utopia utopia was uh, based on plato's dream of ideal state revealed in the republic plato has written the republic and uh, the writer sir thomas more was inspired by this it got translated in 1551 in english and it was basically written in uh, latin so you can uh, see here you will find it was written in latin here you can see it was written in latin too and utopia has been called the first monuments of uh, modern socialism now next important person is roger eschem to know about it early renesa who was writing prose he was a great educationist he wrote two works first was textophilus or the school of shooting in 1545 and next one was the schoolmaster in 1570 and uh, this work schoolmaster contains intellectual instruction for the young people he is also called the first english stylist some minor poets uh, or writer sir thomas eliot his important work is uh, governor which got published in uh, written in 1531 uh, it was a treatise on moral philosophy and education it is full of spirit of antiquity and abounds with greek and latin reminiscences sir john chick he was a teacher of greek art in cambridge his book the heart of sedition is full of humanism and uh, influence of antiquity so influence of antiquity we will find uh, every uh educationist work and reformers work and humanism is was the part of you know it was the heart of the early renesa yahan par dhyan dene wali baat hai the important thing we should uh, focus on that humanism was the part of renesa okay now let's talk about the reformers first was sir john tindal now when we say reformers so what they were reforming so they were they were bringing reforms in that contemporary society so john tindal the first reformer and uh, 
He occupies the immortal place in the history of English literature for the translation of the Bible and the Book of Common Prayer. So his translation formed the basis of the authorized version of the Bible which came existence in 1611. Thomas Craner, uh, his work is the English Prayer Book and it was also, you know, the basic work which helped English language to be developed. Latimer, his sermon on the plover and other were developed, uh, delivered in 1549 and 1522. And as we are, you know, making an account of uh, development of prose, so we should remember these things, how the language is getting developed. So I hope uh, this video helped you in understanding the development of prose in the early Renaissance. Tomorrow we will be talking about the development of drama, which is also part of our syllabus in UGC net. So if you liked the video, please don't forget to thumbs up the video and uh, share video at least once. Bye bye. Take care. See you next video.